Welcome back to Living Local. Tennis is a prime sport for your health and your social life. Studies show it can improve fitness, strength, and agility, and playing with a club, friend, or family is a great way to connect with others. One local option to get the ball rolling, the Quad City Tennis Club. Joining me in studio, we have Jim Scott. He is the director there, and Todd Bunting. He is a tennis professional with Quad City Tennis Club. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, Love being here. Thanks for having us. Definitely. Okay, so guys, what is the history behind the Quad City Tennis Club? started in uh, 1974. Um, group of local guys wanted to get together. The tennis boom was happening. Um, there was a little bit of tennis in Iowa at that point, and they decided to move it to the Illinois side and build uh, six courts originally, and then we grew it to nine courts. And, you know, all air conditioned, great place to play. And that's how it was born. Now, what attracted you guys both to mm -hmm. the sport of tennis, and what benefits have you experienced? Well, in tennis, you know, I think it's uh, the fitness and the fun. It's kind of exercise disguised inside of a game. Mm -hmm. So that's always a great thing. You get in shape while you play, and uh, it makes a huge difference. So. Definitely. What about you? Uh, it kind of fell into it during the tennis boom in mm -hmm. the 70s, and, you know, you watch it on TV, and just one of those things that just really struck a chord and said, listen, i got to do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have tried my hand at tennis a few times, and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, definitely got a great mm -hmm. cardio workout for sure. Mm -hmm. And like you mentioned, Todd, didn't even really know I was working out until mm -hmm. I was out of breath after. I was like, oh, I really got a great workout in there. Mm -hmm. um, definitely need some practice for sure, but it was a lot of fun. Now, you guys, the Quad City Tennis Club is under new ownership. So tell us about what direction it's going to be taking for mm -hmm. the remainder of the 2019-2020 season? Well, really our idea here is to get the community back in involved, um, you know, locally, you know, getting younger kids, you know, getting people that normally would not be exposed to it back to the game. You know, mm -hmm. tennis, you know, kind of flatlined a little bit and we're, our job is really to get people back out there excited about it. You know, it's a sport for a lifetime. So our idea there is, you know, how many people can we get out on the courts? Mm -hmm. Right, and that's interesting. You do see that it exploded there in the 70s, 80s, and mm -hmm. it kind of regressed a little bit. I wonder why. Do you guys have any idea why? Um, just everybody's doing everything at this point. I mean, right. soccer came up, and, you know, it, it, all the sports kind of came out and, and diluted the whole scene. So, you know, now we're just coming back. Tennis in the United States is picking up. And, you know, when you see more of those stars, especially the local star Madison Keys, uh, you know, it gets a lot of buzz going. Right, mm -hmm. definitely. There are so many options sometimes for kids when mm -hmm. they're picking different uh, athletics they want to be involved mm -hmm. when it, with, but tennis truly is one of those lifelong sports. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like golf. You can learn at a young age and you can continue it throughout your entire life. Um, now, you guys mentioned the growth of tennis that's coming now. Mm -hmm. Let's also talk about pickleball, okay? Mm -hmm. So this term I was not familiar with until a few months ago. What is pickleball and why are we seeing this resurgence of its popularity. Well, Todd, go ahead. I'll, I'll step in. Uh, with pickleball, it's, it's kind of based from badminton in terms of the size of the court. Okay. Um, it has, I'm going to say, slightly easier learning curve because we brought props so you can see a <laughs> tennis court or a tennis racket is longer mm -hmm. and I, I, that magnifies the complexity of the sport. The shorter the paddle, we teach uh, young kids with the shorter paddle. So you can learn quicker. Of course, uh, the ball also doesn't bounce as high. Uh, so you find that with the court being smaller, a uh, little slower ball, more people can play. So it works from youth all the way up to, I'd say, uh, seniors, and we see an explosion in that regard. And uh, that's what pickleball is. Uh, it is interesting, though, when tennis players try and transition over to pickleball, they get surprised. Their mouth drops when the ball doesn't bounce like it's supposed to. <laughs> they, they hit it in the net. So you have to get used to it. It's a slight change, but it actually is uh, a lot of fun. I mean, I've only played it a few times, but we're going to get certified as nice. uh, uh, pickleball instructors. And uh, we want that to be a big part of what we're doing going forward. Yeah, I definitely need to visit you guys yeah. whenever <laughs> you have the pickleball classes going on. It, it does seem like such a fun sport and very accessible. You know, like you said, it can be played um, probably among more ages than maybe tennis can because mm -hmm. tennis can be a very active, rigorous <laughs> type of sport. So that's yeah. another great option. Um, so you guys want to enhance the adult programs and opportunities mm -hmm. at the Quad City Tennis Club mm -hmm. when it comes to tennis and pickleball. So how are you guys planning to do that? The main thing is start with the entry level and have programs like that. You know, how do we get someone on the court really easy? You know, you take away a lot of the barriers you know, have fun with it first, you know, take away, you know, the thought of the intimidations, things like that. Mm -hmm. And also the cardio part for us. We do a drills and thrills that's just booming right now. 
So you don't have to be a great player to play, but you know, instead of going to the gym, you have music playing, you got people hitting balls, they're running around, and it's just a great atmosphere. So you know, camaraderie is really the idea of getting people in or ambassadors to, uh, to play the game. Wow, that sounds like a blast. I know a lot of people are more prioritizing their health and fitness nowadays. And you're right, that's such a fun way. Uh, you have the accountability of other people around right. you. You have the music going. Uh, sounds like an incredible opportunity. And you mentioned earlier trying to increase opportunities for youth, really getting kids interested in the sport of tennis. Uh, what's your plan of action as far as getting more kids involved? We're in the process now of starting something called First Racket kind of the, the idea like a first tee program, get the kids um, where we can help, you know, supply them with shoes and rackets and, and get them on the court for the very first time um, and just grow that base, you know, so take kids that would normally not have the opportunity to get out on court. Right, that's amazing that you guys are providing that opportunity. So in addition to your adult and junior programs, you also offer private lessons. Uh, how do those work? Huh? Well, as you're developing, you could be in a clinic or just playing competitively at high schools. One of the fastest way to improve your game is to get an individual lesson. So you have private and also semi-private, if you know cost. And sometimes, if you have someone that, uh, like a brother, sister, who's at your level, mm -hmm. sometimes you can cut the cost a little bit per head and do that. But basically, then you're solely focused on the key attributes of that person. Versus in a clinic where you get a pointer here and there, whatever issues you have, we set a plan and we address those, and you. I mean, you get uh, improvement in, uh, I'll say, the fastest or the shortest time possible. That's so. great. Now, guys, where is the Quad City Tennis Club located, and how can people reach out to you if they have questions about clinics, classes, um, and the variety of programs you've talked about today? Uh, we're down by Cell Park Mall, 1522 47th Avenue. Um, we've been there for years. Um, you can come right down 16th Street and can't miss us. We're looking to grow a little bit. Um, you can call us 309-762-2400. Uh, or you know, on the email, um, tennis at quadcitytennisclub.com. All right, great ways to get plugged in there. Well, Jim and Todd, we appreciate your time here today. Thank you so much for having us. And yes, I'm gonna I'm you. gonna meet up with you guys, and you're gonna teach me how to play pickleball. <laughs> okay. I am serious about that. Yeah. All right, guys, for more information, you visit quadcitytennisclub.com. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com. More living local continues after the break. Stay with us.